Hello, what's going on everybody? It's me, the Prince of Snap, or you can call me Blaze Landrap, whatever you feel like. But I must issue a spoiler warning before we go into this video for Stranger Things Season 3. It's still fresh on Netflix. I wouldn't want to spoil it for you. So I'm going to, you know, check out this figure in its box and show you the box art and everything. So I can give you guys... A uh, who haven't seen season three in, a, in a, its whole entirety a chance to get the heck out of Dodge. These are the other guys you can get in the set. Eleven. Slade Billy is seen here. Joyce with her fridge magnets. And Mike. And also look for the uh, um, flesh flayer. There is the um, character in there, and then there's the top of the box with uh, Billy and he's like, pop television. So that's it guys, um, but those of you used to hear, yeah, you know who Flayed Billy is. It's basically um, uh, Billy Hargrove possessed by the Mind Flayer. Uh, making them do all sorts of evil things. And the black eyes really work with this pop because we all know people who are flayed have black eyes. Um, but pretty cool. He is pop number 844 from Stranger Things Season 2. Not Season 2, sorry. Season 3, Wave 2. Um, but, um, yeah, let's get uh, Billy here out of the box so he can uh, serve his uh, Dark Master. So I'm going to open him. It won't be but a gif. I'll see you guys when I have him out, out of the box. I don't know what's going on with my camera. It's been acting up, but uh, here is Flay Billy out of the uh, box. Pretty cool. Um, Unlike our previous Billy that we got and that I reviewed already, the Billy a Halloween figure, this one actually stands. It doesn't have to be propped up against something. So let's uh, get him closer to the camera so we can get a better look. Yeah, that's better. You can see he's not wearing his shirt. He's uh, exposing that thick, sexy, thick body. And Funko actually did a better job doing his uh, pecs this time. He's got, of course, his pool whistle and his uh, shorts, which say uh, um, Hawkins pool on it you can't really see it clearly because uh, um, the camera's poor quality but it has the Hawkins pool logo and it says Hawkins pool on it and um, of course his fists are balled up and he's got all these veins going in them so he's the mind flayer now needs him to do some of his dark bidding so he's been activated and I really like the black eyes I mean like him more in comparison to this figure because the black eyes really work with the design of Flay Billy because he has been flayed and we all know that you know when a person's been flayed by the mind flayer they get really aggressive and violent and they have black eyes and all sorts of uh, black spidery veins going through their skin as you can see here he's covered in those veins and really has these angry looking expressions his hair is all messed up um, He's ready to kill the Mind Flayer for 11. And so, Billy is always time. He still has that mustache, but, um, yeah, we can't compare. we got to just do the comparisons now. And we can't compare a flayed Billy without, you know, having the man behind it. No, he's going to fall. Yeah, he's going to fall. So there's the Mind Flayer plush. Compared next to Flayed Billy, there's how the Mind Flayer, this is not the Mind Flayer from Season 2, this is just the regular Mind Flayer, but um, yeah, so there is uh, Billy compared to the giant posable super cute Mind Flayer plush, yeah, I wanted to have him towering over Billy, but it just doesn't work, there's not enough space in between the movies and the space of actually is shelving, but pretty cool. And then, of course, I'm going to compare him to the other Billy figure, which I previously reviewed on this channel. Um, this is, of course, the uh, Billy a Halloween figure. 
See how they can pair up to each other? Basically the same. Oh my god, he's standing. Nobody touch him. Just put them facing forward. So yeah, that's pretty cool. You can see that the hair is a little bit of different shade. And of course they're wearing different outfits. Of course Billy is still showing off his uh his pecs in the one that I re reviewed. But um his uh abs or pecs or whatever you want to call them aren't really designed that well in the first figure. But they Funker really did a better job of doing the pecs. And also in both he looks angry. I wish we would get like a Billy that looks less angry, but I mean it is kind of a key part to his character. He is a bit angry after, you know, his father's really big asshole, so he grew up with that and it made him angry because you're just gonna if you're a kid feeding off of uh, negativity in your house, you're just gonna feed off the negativity. And when you have an abusive father like Billy's father, it's just going to wreck you. It's gonna break you and then you're gonna turn out like Billy. And I completely understand where he's going from. Like a uh, like Dude, he's, he's had a bad life. His mother was, you know, doing a good job, and then his father showed up all of a sudden and tore his life down. How tragic is that? But, um, yeah, so the the the, 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 um, the third uh, season really gave us a reason to want Billy to stay, stick around, but, of course, he died. Yeah, but that scene where Eleven finally gets to him, the Mind Flayer, he's about to sacrifice Eleven to the Mind Flayer, so the Mind Flayer can finally kill Eleven. He's knocked her out, kicked um, Eleven, and uh, kicked everyone's asses, and he's about to sacrifice her to the Mind Flayer. And then she's like, she gets his attention and is like, tells him the story about how she saw his memories trying to contact the Mind Flayer. And then finally she gets to him, telling him about his mother, and um, how beautiful she was and that day when they were on the beach just having a fun time and he was happy and he's just like oh my god and so he finally breaks the control of the mind flare and um holds the mind flare back long enough for eleven to get away and for the kids to continue to bring their uh their onslaught of fireworks onto the flesh flare and to close the gate and when the, once the gate is closed, of course, the the um, uh, the actual mind flare can't control the flesh flare anymore. So the flesh flare, without being able to receive orders from the actual mind flare, who is currently trapped in the upside down, it has no orders. So it just becomes dead. It's like a puppet. So pretty cool. Um, also, next week we are going to be reviewing. Joyce with fridge magnets. So stay tuned for that. Pretty cool. So yeah, we're going to be reviewing pop number eight, four, five, and it's Joyce with her fridge magnets. Learn more about that next week. This is the Princess Nap. Hope you guys enjoy, and do take care.